Hello. Right, I uh, just wanted to introduce you to the <laughs> Flying Squirrel running with the first Yuma 68A20 CPU card. Current status of this moment is we've got the, this is one of the early CPU cards um, where um, I've had to run a wire across uh, from the Ethernet for the power feedback. I think this has been corrected in the, um, the later revisions. Um, so it's not necessary to do that. Um, at the <laughs> the plethora of wires, uh, because of some corrections that have been made, um, which need to be made for the uh, to the second revision board. This we've got a UART, a USB um, to UART converter chip, which is precariously plugged in to the STM32F, which is under that lot of wires there. Um, just down here, there is a an SMT resistor connected, a 1.5K resistor connected to the USB cable, um, which I've got running into that hub, which then goes into the back of my PC here, just for convenience. Um, that will actually be um, uh, wired into um, the hub on the STM set, uh, no, on the flying squirrel board, which is this chip here, um, so that you can program it from the um, the Yama 68 CPU card. Um, so firmware is loaded over here using STM 32S Prog, um, currently connected to there, but that again will be wired to the Yama 68 card's UART interface in the interface in the next revision. Um, what this incredible mess of <coughs> um, wires is all about here is um, <laughs> and resistors is the um, LM13700 um, operational transconductance amplifier sounds like something out of Star Trek um, uh, we're using that to amplify the signals from the microphone uh, which is here um, using voltage, the thing about OTAs is that you can do uh, voltage regulated amplification. So you specify a, uh, well it's actually a, vol vol a voltage turned into a current via a resistor. Um, so the voltage level um, which we can output from the STM32F um, will uh, act as a volume control for the microphone. Um, uh, we're limited on the um, the number of pins we've got and analog DACs, etc., etc. So I've used pulse width modulation and smoothed it using an RC circuit. Um, um, but I completely messed up the circuit for the LM13700. So that's the reason why all the bunch of resistors. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the um, um, what we're, we're doing to actually program this this thing up. Now it's currently running. Debian happily here um, on the CPU card. I'm logged in over a USB on the go cable where I've gone and cut the 5 volt line um, uh, 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 from it because, oh, long story. Um, anyway, cat GPIO up tab. Right. Um, that's the standard um, Sys class GPIO for the Linux uh, Sun XI 3.4 kernel. So what this is doing is um, uh, uh, one of those GPIOs is connected to boot zero and the other one is connected to reset line of the um, STM32F. So if I run GPIO up here, that just does a one second pause there, um, and uh, then we run uh, program the uh, yes I know it's called mini blink whoa firmware uploading flash 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 awesome stuff oh god that takes forever um, now what is then once that's done we can plug in the USB. Now I've got it set up as a CDC ACM device, TTY ACM0. Way. 
All right, and then move down one screen. And wow, that's reading from the ADC. Woohoo! <laughs> Which is awesome. All right, now I'm going to short a resistor between this line here and there. Grab that with my thumb and touch that on there. And if I do that at the same time, they're showing you the data on the screen. Whoa, it jumps down to zero. Whoa. Okay, that's very exciting because that means that the amplifier, the yeah, trans transconductance amplifier is uh, actually working. And um, uh, the thing, yeah, so that's uh, very really good. Uh, let me just, while I'm here, let's throw you over some of this code. Uh, percent three. Yeah, um, it's initialized at 48 megahertz. Uh, there's the ADC started up, the DMA and the timer channel. I'm not using the DMA and the timer at the moment. Um, ADC setup. Uh, where are you? GPIO, ADC setup. Right. Uh, that enables the clock. You've got to switch it off, then reset the bloody thing. Um, then put a PLL, then do all the scanning, blah, 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 power it on uh, things. And that resets the plumbing thing so that you can do that, then finally do that read. Um, now, uh, I haven't yet turned the, done the DMA, that'll be the next um, task, but basically once that's up, um, we can then, where are you? Here, right, yes, do all those um, a UDC CDC in it that's straight out of the um, um, USB CDC ACM example from this STM32F. Uh, Initialized GPO, uh, the LCD just enables 17 volts for the uh, backlight and the uh, thing. And then uh, we just poll around uh, reading the ADC and printing it out on that message, and that's why you get that coming out there. Um, so it's really quite straightforward. Um, love it. Um, I'm looking for a thing. Somebody, somebody did some helicopter code. Um, which uh, um, I managed to get um, some information from from how to uh, program the ADC. It's all LGPL, so uh, LGPL V3, which is absolutely fantastic. So yeah, um, that's it. The other thing that's working that I got working on, because some of the bloody wires fell off, um, but uh, uh, you know we had the LCD working earlier. Um, what else is um, going to show you? I know it's thing out of the way. Uh, that's the MEB. Uh, I haven't needed it for for some time, um, but it's um, it's you know case you've been very very useful for um, getting it up and running and testing all the hardware SATA and all the blah blah, blah stuff. Um, but uh, now that I've got it uh, up and running like this, I, I haven't using I'm mean, just going to direct app get installed using USB USB um, networking, um, and then I you know done the usual. Um, uh, 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 Cat proc, cat echo one into cat proc IBV forward and set up um, my um, um, uh, uh, main X X six system as uh, a router. So uh, yeah, I haven't really haven't really needed it. Um, oh, one other thing that's working is Wi-Fi, um, which goes onto that little header there. We've got a tiny little um, thing which. Module is about you know it goes into that space there. It's an inch by inch by half an inch. It's absolutely fantastic, um, and that's an RTL Wi-Fi device. Uh, works straight out of the box. Unfortunately, non-free firmware, but it's cheap. Um, we can do um, you know an Atheros 9K a thing, which won't really claim because so we'll be able to do um, uh, com comply with uh, software uh, freedom uh, things. Ah, here we go. Here it is. Yay! All right, you see, so absolutely tiny. Um, you know, a little bit of antenna on the thing. Um, that's from uh, sparkland.com. That one. Hey, um, thank you very much.